You're starting a unit called You're Surrounded. Do you have any idea why we call this unit You're Surrounded? You're surrounded right now. Look around, you can't see it, but it's surrounding you. Gases, that's what it is. Gases. So this unit is going to focus on gases, the nature of gases and gas laws. But before we continue on, I want to take a look at this word called pressure. I have a lot of students saying, I'm under pressure. There's pressure coming from at us in all directions. You're right. Everyone all over the world is under pressure. In fact, we're under 14.7 pounds per square inch of pressure at all times if you're at sea level. But you know what? It's what you do in the face of pressure. Our bodies push back. In fact, they push back as much pressure that is pushed on us. If not, we wouldn't have our form. If the pressure got so great, eventually we would disappear. However, that's not what happens. We push back in the face of pressure, and that's what you need to do. Overcome those obstacles. So exactly what is pressure? Pressure is the force exerted on a given area of matter. And it, in order to calculate pressure, pressure is force in newtons over area, which is centimeters squared or meters squared. So in terms of gases, gases are creating pressure on us at all times. The pressure is the collisions with the sides of the containers or the collisions with our body. Things you need to know to be successful in this unit. Um, there are pressure units for gases and those are PSI, which you should be familiar with or you may have used before if you've pumped up a bicycle tire or your car tires. That is used pounds per square inch. In chemistry, however, we're going to use atmospheres, kilopascals, millimeters of mercury, tor, bars. And you're going to be asked to convert between these units. So doing the factor labeling and the dimensional analysis you have used in previous units. So here are some conversions that we have here. We have 760 millimeters of mercury or tor equals 1 atm. 1.0, or I'm sorry, 101.3 kilopascals equals 1 atm. 14.7 pounds per square inch equals 1 atm. And 1.013 bars equals 1 atm. And atm is atmospheric pressure. So each one of these now becomes your domino conversions. This allows you to convert and cancel out units. So right now, before you continue on, I would like you to convert between um, 2.25 atms to millimeters of mercury and also convert 850 tor to atm. Do this use back labeling and canceling out of units. Please show your work and you'll bring this to class tomorrow. So hit pause and do that now. Some things you need to know, general information about gases. There is a kinetic molecular theory and kinetic we look at kinetic energy, and kinetic energy is energy of motion. So gas molecules are always in constant motion. They do not attract or repel each other. They're in constant random motion. They collide with containers and each other in their elastic collisions, meaning they bounce off of each other. They tend to have the same kinetic energy, so they move at the same speed when they're all at a given temperature. And they are very small. You cannot see these gas molecules with the naked eye. They virtually have no volume. So these five things make up um, the kinetic molecular theory. Some other general information to help you be successful in this unit. Um, you're going to be doing calculations using temperature. And the temperature is always measured in Kelvin when doing, dealing with gases. So if you're doing a calculation or asked to find um, the temperature, you need to make sure that you first convert your degree Celsius, if it's given to you in Celsius, to Kelvin by adding 273 to it. So Celsius plus 273 equals Kelvin. You do this prior to doing any calculations. Your pressure units, which we just talked about, 1 atm, kilopascals, millimeters of mercury. Make sure they are in the same units. 
um, and know how to convert between those. Your volume is measured in your basic metric can, um, units, liters or milliliters. And the amount of gas or the particles of gas is measured in moles. And you'll learn a little bit more about this mole unit later on in the unit. Um, this screencast just gives you some background information about pressure, um, gases, the nature of gases to help you be successful um, in the other screencasts. If you have any questions, please bring them to class tomorrow and discuss them with your teacher. This ends the screencast for um, pressure and nature of gases.